today we're opening up a $400 Pop King Paul mystery box. Everybody knows Pop King Paul is the king of the Funko Pop mystery box game. I've opened up his boxes for I don't know, like five years maybe. It's been a long time. He's one of the longest tenured mystery box companies on this YouTube channel. <clears throat> and I'm whittling down to I think my final three Pop King Paul boxes that I have, including this one. This was actually shipped back on May 28, 2023, so over a year ago, this was bought and shipped. So that was like, well, actually like 15 months ago. 15 months values have probably changed on most all the pops in here. Some of the bigger grails could have really gone down in value. Of course, that will not be Pop King Paul's fault. That's just the market on Funko Pops right now. But here's the details. $400 mystery box. The big boy kind of box. This is called Pop King Paul's Everyone Gets a Grail Times Two. Guaranteed overvalued mystery box at the time of packaging in May of 2023. This is August 2024. I'm filming this in August. It'll probably go up in September though. $4 per box plus shipping. He made 20 total boxes, four pops per box. It says price is taken for Hobby DB only as of May 27th, 2023, 15 months ago. So we can't really go by price because they've probably fluctuated. It says guaranteed over value. Everyone's a winner. No losers. Everyone's guaranteed a minimum of two grails. Any and all autograph pops are authenticated by one of the major Autograph authenticators or companies, JSA, PSA, Beckett, SWAU, and so on. Pops are 7 out of 10 condition or better. Some of them are older pops. They may have some small box flaws, creases, shelfware, window scuffs, etc. Some of these old pops, you can't help it. They're very, very hard to find in what you consider mint condition. So, here's actually some of the top hits, okay? You ready for this? Some of the top hits available. You've got the OG Loki. That's like a 2012 pop, I think. 2011, 12, 2012, something like that. The uh, con sticker to Shock Trooper. The metallic Freddy Funko with Optimus Prime. You've got a couple of the Mr. Toad SDCC things. The Freddy Glow Chase. A couple of Iron Patriots. Of course, you got some autograph pops. Uh, OG Doctor Doom. Then you're also looking at like the black and white Barnes & Noble Captain America. Uh, you've got some pretty decent pops available in this mystery box run. There's nothing, I mean, like the grail pieces aren't junk. So you ready to see what we got in here? I'm intrigued. This has been in storage for 15 months now. I have one of this run left, a $4 box. Then I found another Pop King Paul that I think that was a $280 box bought earlier in 2024. And I think that's the only ones I have left from Pop King Paul. That's it. So... I know, I think I'm out of several companies' boxes now, and I'm getting low on Pop King Paul's, very low on Smy World. I've got a ton of boom loot still, and old Toy USA from like four to five years ago. And then a few sprinkled in, but I think I had like one more Poptopia box from like a year or two ago, and some other random companies mixed in. Ish. Here we go. Oh, it's double box, of course. He always double boxes. Always fantastic packaging. Pop King Paul always provides the best packaging, best service. Any problems, you hit him up on Instagram and he'll take care of you. He always does. Hmm. Weight wise, it's pretty evenly distributed. So it's probably like hard case, hard case, you know, like distributes the weight evenly. From the main picture, if it was like the big, big grails, I would love to hit that OG Loki, the Shock Trooper, the Optimus Prime. Probably those three would be like the three that would be like the most favorable to get out. Let's see what magic awaits us in a 15 month old mystery box. Okay, heart stack. Yeah, okay, heart stack, heart stack, soft, soft. Do the soft ones first. Back says Space Jam. We've got Marvin the Martian. This is vaulted 15 months ago. It was $39. What it's worth today, we will find out. This came out in 2017, so it is a seven-year-old pop. Actually, it's over seven years old now because it came out in July. Or it was May, July. Would have come out then in actually like October, November. It usually takes three to four months after production date to actually come out. So seven-year-old pop. 
Okay, this soft one. Nice one, Black Widow. That's a nice piece right there. Uh, this one went up in value a couple years ago. This is a 2014. This is an older thing, too. It looks like they had packaging 15 months ago. It was $48. I know. I've had her a few times, and it can be very challenging to find hers in, like, mint, mint condition. It's a major challenge. Usually, they have minor box flaws, box wear, window scratches. And you know, this was, I mean, this is still, like, a good 8 out of 10 condition. It's not, like, mint, mint, like, 9, 10, like nine out of 10. Nine out of ten or better. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. This still is like a near mint, like an eight out of ten. Still nice shape for 2014 pop. I, I've never seen a totally gem mint Black Widow from this run. I've, I've, I've never had one in my possession. Here we go. First one in a hard stack. There's two in here. These two combined, they have packaging. It was like, what, 90 bucks? We got a lot to make up still. We have Yo Gabba Gabba on the back, it says. Oh, DJ Lance Rock, only 480 piece. That's a nice thing right there. I don't think I've ever had this pop before. 480 piece with the older, bigger glow in the dark sticker. Of course, it's a 2012 SDCC sticker. Day of packaging, 230 bucks. The day of packaging. That's pretty nice, actually. I kind of want to see condition. Kind of curious. Older pop. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. That's actually very nice condition. For a 12-year-old pop, that's pretty mint. Impressive. No box damage. Stickers are fully intact. No sticker swappage. Nice. That's actually in really, really nice condition. Impressive. Okay. Day packaging 230. This is probably the big hit in this box, I bet. I bet it is, but it's a nice hit right there. Here you go. Last one, pop number four. Oh, that's always a nice one. The anti venom Funko Pop. This thing used to be like a massive grail. It 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 dropped in value because it restocked overseas on like a what's that site called? Pop culture? Does that sound right? They restocked it only overseas, and they really hurt the value of it. Uh, came out originally 2018. Box Lunch Exclusive came in a t-shirt pop combo, but overseas, they just dropped it with just the pop with the overseas sticker. A lot of people did a lot of sticker swaps. Got to make sure it's the correct date, like this one, 2018. The newer one was like a 2021, maybe. Maybe it was a 2022. I don't remember. Two, three years ago, it came out. The packaging was worth 120. I think the value is under that now by quite a bit. I think it's actually quite a bit, maybe like half of that because of the overseas restock like three, four years later when it was supposed to have been vaulted, but Funko likes to uh, unvault stuff now. Let's see PBG values of these four pops. First pop, long vaulted, Marvin the Martian, 15 months ago, 39 bucks today. 38 bucks. It held value. That's nice. Pot number two, Black Widow. 15 months ago, 48 bucks today, only 27. It's almost dropped 50% value in the past 15 months. Wow, that was a massive drop. And the box lunch exclusive, anti venom, 15 months ago, 120. That overseas restock when they unvaulted it. Thought it was worth about half of this, and it is it's worth 60 bucks. So in the past 15 months, it lost half of its value because Funko restocked it many, many years after it originally got vaulted. Good job, Funko. In the fourth one, DJ Lance Rock. 15 months ago, it was worth 230 bucks. Today, it's worth 210. This one actually held the value very closely. So grand total of this box, 15 months ago, this was over $400. 15 months ago, it was worth like, what, 90 to 10 it was worth around what 440 is worth worth around 440 nine months or 15 months ago today 335 so it's lost about 100 bucks in value in the past 15 months so it could have been a lot worse than that but the day of packaging whenever paul made this box it was worth 10 percent over what the box cost it was a nice return but 15 months later the pop market has really gone gone down 
So, I mean, it's still, it's four fantastic pops, older pops. Everything looks to be in nice shape. Everything was packaged beautifully. So, no complaints whatsoever. It's just the value of pops just aren't healthy like they were even a year ago. But that's the pop market. Anyway, these four will be for sale in my Whatnot Marketplace shop. Link on the screen right now and down below. You can click on it in the description box of the video. If that's your first time going to it and creating your first account, you will save 15 bucks on your first purchase only if you use my link. I put all my pops exclusively only for sale in my Whatnot Marketplace shop. I list pops sporadically. They sell very quickly because I price them under market value. They don't last long. So check back multiple times per week. See if I threw up some more pops. And if they if I did, grab them because if you don't, somebody else will for my steal and deal prices.